Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to go over five reasons why your new aquarium is covered in algae, like this aquarium right here. It's been set up, we're right around the two month mark, and that's kind of about when uh, you start getting algae issues, whether it's diatom algae or brown algae like this, or the high-tech tanks will get that green water. But I'm gonna tell you five of the most common reasons it happens, and I, I do four of them in this tank alone, so it's no surprise I have algae. Let's take a look. All right, so it's kind of hard to show this with all the glare, but you can see that the glass is just covered in diatom algae. Even this piece of wood has algae growing all over that. And one of the main reasons for that in newly set up tanks is no beneficial bacteria. Oh, look at the uh, roly poly right there. Living the, living the life in this uh, terrarium, paludarium, whatever you want to call it. But anyways, I digress. So lack of beneficial bacteria, why does that cause algae? So a lot of the times we, uh, we get a little antsy, we don't wait for the tank to cycle, we start throwing fish in here, and what happens? We don't have any beneficial bacteria to convert the ammonia, something's gotta eat up that ammonia and it's gonna be algae. This is why I say one of the most important aspects of this hobby is definitely patience. Wait for your tank to cycle. In my case here, I added a pre-cycled sponge filter, so this is, the one area that I got covered and not why I have algae. Now I'm definitely guilty of the next one and that is poor water circulation. Algae does not generally like good water flow. So the only flow I got is this little waterfall thing right here and a sponge filter back there in the corner. Now why is that bad? Nutrients just kind of sit in one spot, they build up. You get this film on top of your water. This is protein film. And this is going to stop the exchange of CO2 and oxygen. So one thing I need to do is definitely improve my water circulation. I'll probably add another sponge filter over here on this corner, my dying plant there. And then I can even increase the flow of this if I want to. I'm not sure how crazy I want this to get, but little snail crawling up the waterfall. Now the third reason I'm gonna tell you is something that we're all gonna have to deal with with planet tanks, and that is an imbalance of light, CO2, and fertilization nutrients. It can take a long time to balance out an aquarium, far longer sometimes than even your cycle. So you've waited your six weeks on your cycle, it could literally last another two to three months before you get your aquarium balanced out. And there's so many different factors when it comes to it, like how much you're fertilizing, what you're fertilizing, how long your lights are on, what kind of substrate, like this is all planted substrate in here. And then we have all sand in the front. You know, eventually it'll work itself out and you can kind of play with it as well, like lowering or increasing your light, adding CO2, uh, less, more nutrients. It's, it's, it's a game, especially in a planet tank. So you just gotta be patient. Now, another one, I don't know that I'm guilty of it, but I probably, don't do enough water changes. I was actually mid a water change while making this video, which is why everything's low. And uh, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna make a video on algae. I don't know that I've done one in years. More water changes, removing excess nutrients. Now that could be a double-edged sword. Uh, you know, if you have really hard water and you're just adding more nutrients, don't overdo it on the water changes. It's definitely a possibility. And you can also kill your cycle if you just start doing water changes every single day. So easy on the water changes, but make sure you're consistent. You know, 10% every week, 20% every two weeks, whatever it takes. Now the last and final reason that I'm definitely guilty of is cleanup crew. You can see there's a snail right here, but just one. This little roly poly guy right here, He's not gonna clean up algae. I have no near night snails, no bristle nose plecos in here, and we are gonna fix that right now. Now what I'm gonna add, this is just a green bristle nose pleco, a little fry, hard to see. We can focus on him. He was getting picked on in his last enclosure by a betta, last enclosure, last aquarium by a betta fish. And so hopefully these gudgeons will leave him alone. This is a huge, huge, huge tank. So clean up crew. This is, in my opinion, the best algae eater you can get. There he goes. And I don't know if you guys can see him. There he is though. He blends in really nicely and hopefully these uh, gudgeons will leave him alone and he'll start cleaning off this algae on the wood here. Oh, we got some really bad glare. I'm gonna add another one if I can find one. I don't wanna do long fin green dragons. I do have a couple of just normal short fin green dragons. Well, they're not really green dragons if they're short fin, but 
I know I have at least two more, but I don't remember. I got 50 aquariums, they can be anywhere. So this will definitely be a good start. The other thing you could do is near ice snails are really good at algae, a mono shrimp. Uh, I do have a mono shrimp actually I could put in there, but I'll probably wait maybe on the next water change. I gotta get this filled back up. But there you go, just a, a quick five reasons why your new tank is gonna be covered in algae. We'll go over those again quickly. Not enough beneficial bacteria, you're not cycled yet. Poor water circulation, like one sponge filter in a four foot by two foot aquarium. Yeah, pretty ingenious. Uh, imbalance of lights, uh, CO2 nutrients, of course, that'll balance out over time. These gudgeons are a lot of fun, I'm telling you. These are the purple spot gudgeons. Um, not enough water changes, too many water changes, believe it or not, but more likely not enough water changes. And then just no algae eaters. So maybe another bristlenose pleco in here, maybe some mono shrimp on the next water change. Uh, this is drying out really fast, so I need to get this filled back up with water. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm like sweating a lot right now because it's 9 billion degrees outside, which means it's 18 billion degrees in here. So I'm not going to put my sweaty face back on camera. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to thumbs up it. And to the 60% of you that are not subscribed, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. You're watching it anyways. Come on, just do it. All right, I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. and. Have a good week.